So my life before motor neuron disease, I was a successful real estate salesperson with LJ Hooker in Whangarei. Um, yeah, I'd lived in growing up in Whangarei, so I really enjoyed doing what I was doing. I'd just built in a new house um, before I got motor neuron disease. And um, yeah, enjoyed cars and, and you know, being out socialising and having a good time. So motor neurons changed my life because the nature of the disease is it's a debilitating disease. It, it, it robs you of being able to use your limbs and um, and so forth. And so I've ended up in a wheelchair. You know, I can't move my legs or my arms anymore. So it's taken everything away from me. It's taken my career, my lifestyle, um, and that sort of thing. So it's yeah, it's pretty pretty much a bastard disease, is what they call it. So February's not my favourite month. Going back 10 years, we lost um, a great man who was my boss, Michael Springford, sudden, suddenly uh, passed away um, in 2013. And then 2017 was the uh, diagnosis of motor neuron disease for me. And then again, February um, 2019 uh, is when I lost the ability to walk really and started using a wheelchair because of the disease. 20 21 my wife uh, unfortunately she couldn't handle it anymore and um, left and I also lost a good friend um, who gave up on me as well he, it was too much for him as well um, and then in 2022 uh, I ended up in full-time care and of course 2023 now we just lived through a cyclone which has devastated the country so February is not my favorite month I campaigned for the end of life choice um, more so that I'm a great believer that as New Zealanders, we should have the right to choose how our life ends if we were terminally ill, rather than leaving it in the hands of other people. So the, the right of, to have that choice was, was the first and foremost. And then secondly, because I am terminally ill, I personally, I wanted that choice should I get to that stage where I feel I need to make it. I think, at some point it'll come when I decide whether I use the end of life choice for myself or not. Um, along along the, the journey of the last six years since I was diagnosed, it's um, been a flip-flop decision because you have good days, bad days. So, But um, I am determined to, to, to ride this wave as long as I can before that choice has to be really made. My feelings haven't changed regarding voluntary euthanasia or end of life choice. It is, I've been um, a strong campaigner and, and um, advocate for having that choice. So it doesn't matter what, what your, your, your background is, your, your, your religious background or, or your ethnic background or your personal you know, choices. People can choose to use it or they choose to don't have to use it. But having that choice there gives people a really good option should they feel that it's it is for them and that's what it, what it's all about so no, i'm a strong strong and strongly in favor of, of euthanasia still so my collection here um at maygrove started about april last year um being in full-time care uh, i needed something to occupy myself with and um so I decided to buy some more items on eBay and trade me to, to, to sort of make the room feel like my own, like I used to have at home. So I had a good collection of collectibles at, of different types at, at home, which um, my son's now got. And so I just started collecting and um, it just keeps evolving. So there's Tonka trucks, there's Mustangs, there's um, the Gulf Oil um, models and then also the Gulf Oil memorabilia which is my main focus at the moment. So it's an ever, ever going, ever going project. It's, it's going to um, carry on until I get to the point where I just can't fit anymore in. I think having the collection um, has certainly given me a purpose in life. Um, and, you know, when my friends or family phone me and I want to tell them, oh, I found this model on online or I found this oil can and I only had to pay this much for it. So it's given me a different 
different um, perspective in life, which I think takes away that time when you can sort of, um, instead of dwelling on being being um, terminally ill, I'm now just trying to make the most of of things and, and carrying on and not not focusing on on the negative, but looking at the positive things in life that make me happy. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.